Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Time Travel. Now today we're going to be continuing uh, what we started in the last episode of Time Travel where we're going to be taking a look at another version of Microsoft Plus and today that version is going to be Microsoft Plus for Windows 98 and uh, as you can probably tell uh, it was uh, released uh, alongside Microsoft Windows 98 and uh, it included a lot of uh, you know new features uh, that Windows 98 uh, didn't have at the time of its release as well as it also had uh, most of the features that Windows 95 Plus uh, also included and they also uh, changed the actual name uh, of the product uh, just a little bit uh, they, they actually dropped uh, the uh, for Windows part of it so now it's just called uh, Microsoft Plus 98 instead of Microsoft Plus for Windows 98 I guess just to make it like a little bit simpler or something like that but uh, let's just get started like we did last time uh, with installing and uh, just taking a look at how uh, this would install on a Windows 98 machine so we have uh, the um, Microsoft Plus 98 CD in this virtual machines drive here so we're just going uh, to open it up here And just like in the previous version of Microsoft Plus, we get uh, the Windows 98, in this case, uh, boot up sound. Now, in uh, the older version, we got the uh, Windows 95 startup sound because it was for Windows 95. Um, but since this is Windows 98, obviously we're going to get uh, that newer startup sound. And now uh, we only have uh, these, these two options, so uh, they kind of simplified this. Uh, just a little bit we have uh, the install plus option as well as browse this CD now I believe we we also had uh, in the older version uh, a multimedia catalog option or something like that and, and that is just now gone so uh, we're just going to click on install plus and we get uh, a new little sound there and now instead of uh, just taking over uh, the entire screen it's just uh, a very simple like box here, uh, like most in, like most installation programs are today. Uh, so we're just going uh, to click on next here, and we're going to accept the agreement, and we're going to uh, put in our, our name here. I'll just leave that as admin, and we're going to put in our Microsoft Plus CD key. All right, so we have our Microsoft Plus key inserted here, so we're just going to uh, click on Next. And uh, this is one of uh, the new options, or uh, rather one of the new features uh, that Windows 95 Plus includes. It includes McAfee Virus Scan, and uh, the option during uh, the installation is uh, you can check this option to scan your system uh, for viruses. and We'll be going over this program uh, a little bit more in depth later, but I'm just going uh, to leave this option checked. And it's going to perform a little scan of the computer. Actually, here is um, like uh, the McAfee virus scan interface here. And it has not found anything, so we're just going to click on next to uh, finish the installation. And I'm going to do uh, the same thing that I did before. Uh, in the older version where we're going to uh, click on the custom option so I can actually show you um, all of the new features that Plus 98 came with. So you can see here we have a lot of things. We have uh, uh, the first option is called compressed folders which is basically a zip file integration with Windows Explorer which uh, we obviously have uh, in modern versions of Windows today but this was the first time we saw it uh, in Windows 98 and I believe any other uh, older version uh, of Windows this was the first time that we saw it uh, with the addition of Microsoft Plus. We also have uh, a deluxe CD player uh, which actually had CDDB support which is basically a compact disk database which allows for uh, the program to actually uh, look up the CD's information over the internet and we have uh, the same uh, uh, desktop themes that we had before and these actually come with all of uh, the original 95 plus themes as well as 18 new ones so we can look in here we see we have all of these new themes as well as uh, like all of the original ones 
uh, we have something called disk cleanup add-ons which was basically a non-critical fi uh, file cleaner which was uh, by cyber media incorporated which was at the time uh, the leader in automatic technical support for pcs um, we also have golf 1998 light uh, loser marbles which are both games um, we also have uh, the maintenance wizard which uh, we'll go over later we have the organic art screensaver picture it express spider solitaire and virus scan so uh, we're just going to have all these options selected and we're just going to click on next and we're going to click on next to start copying files now again we're going to be taking a look at every single feature or at least most of them uh, for Microsoft plus 98 uh, in depth uh, as we get in uh, to the video because uh, we do have a lot to cover because this version comes with a lot of stuff all right and we have finished installing Microsoft plus so Windows 95 is updating the system settings or sorry Windows 98 is updating the system settings uh, we're not on Windows 95 anymore um, all right so um, here we are at uh, the final part of the setup so it, it is basically uh, giving us some options uh, to configure uh, our desktop theme and run the maintenance wizard now we're going to be taking a look at uh, both these things later um, but so I'm just going uh, to actually uncheck both these and then click finish and it's going to ask us to restart our computer now so we're uh, so we're going uh, to do that and I, I can actually show you how uh, the you know Windows 98 uh, boot screen changes you can see right there uh, but yeah this is the new Windows 98 plus boot screen so yeah it you know changes the boot screen just like before all right we're now logging in all right and we are now logged back into Windows 98 and we actually now have uh, a new icon uh, in the uh, system tray here which I'm guessing is for McAfee virus scan so we can go over here and it's called V Shield. V Shield is enabled. I'm guessing this is going to be, yep, uh, McAfee virus scan or sorry, McAfee V Shield uh, uh, status. So let's just start going over all uh, of the features or at least uh, the most important ones that Windows 98 uh, Plus added. So uh, the the first thing that it did is it actually uh, put in the Windows Start menu a folder with all of uh, the plus 98 feature so we can go here go in here we have all uh, of the Microsoft plus 98 features uh, which are uh, the games McAfee virus scan uh, deluxe CD player desktop themes disk cleanup maintenance wizard uh, the organic art uh, screensaver and picture it express so the first thing we're going to take a look at is the desktop themes and it's going to look very similar to the uh, Windows 95 one and again, I'm not going to go over all of the themes in this video because I would take a little bit too long. But uh, we can go here, and I'll show you uh, the Windows. I think the there is uh, a new uh, Windows 98 one. That yeah, there's Windows 98 high color. I think this is a new one. The actual list. Yeah. So see, here is uh, you know one of the new themes. We have uh, the same thing on the side here. This is basically. Uh, the same interface that we saw uh, in Windows 95 plus it looks you know pretty much the same uh, we can just you know click on apply here and it's gonna like apply the theme and for some reason we have something going on up here I guess this is a uh... oh yeah this is um the uh, Microsoft channel guide active desktop which for some reason came up I don't know why it did but that is not a uh, part of Microsoft plus I think that was like a I don't at least I, I don't believe it is it doesn't like actually advertise this as being a part of Microsoft plus this just I guess came up because we changed the theme or something like that but uh, yeah here is uh, one of the new uh, Microsoft plus desktop themes and as well as all these other uh, great themes in here we also have some of these based off of popular comics uh, from the time, such as Foxtrot and Garfield. So we can just, uh, you know, go to these here, and I'll just, uh, you know, like apply this one. As you see, the the uh, kind of like the background here kind of looks a little weird because we're on like a 1080p monitor. But yeah, 
So here is uh, the Garfield theme. Uh, I'm sure we all know what Garfield is, but yeah. Uh, they had uh, a few themes like this. Uh, we can also apply uh, the Foxtrot. If I can find it. I'm saying that right, by the way. Where is that? Here is the uh, Foxtrot. We can apply this as well. And yeah, I'm not going to be going over all the themes. I just want to uh, you know show these two because these are the ones... Uh, that were based off of uh, those two comics from the time and they decided to make themes out of them and you can also notice that we can actually have uh, like like basically animated uh, desktop backgrounds which is uh, kind of interesting I don't think we can do that today in Windows um, but we could do it uh, with Microsoft Plus so yeah we'll just change this back over to the Windows 98 high color uh, theme here and uh, I will show you uh, the next part uh, of, of Microsoft Plus, or at least what we're going to be taking a look at. So, uh, the next thing is the Organic Art 3D Screensaver, which I can go down here to the Start menu. It's uh, you know still kind of changing the theme there, but uh, we can go here. I'm going to Programs, Microsoft Plus 98, and I believe this is right here, the Organic Art Screensaver. This is basically uh, a pretty interesting screensaver that was able to uh, render unique infinite 3d visual shapes so we can just uh, you know cl uh, click on preview here and we can view it and this is this is it this is uh, the organic art 3d 3d screensaver as you can see we have uh, on the bottom there uh, sort of like a uh, watermark from I believe that says uh, uh, computer artworks but yeah, uh, this does look pretty cool actually. Uh, it just is basically rendering like a bunch of shapes at one time. And uh, this was a new feature uh, to Microsoft Plus. So, you can go back here. Uh, I believe if we can change uh, the settings here. So let's make a change uh, instead of every 60 seconds. Let's do, uh, uh, let's just say 15 seconds to make it uh, a little bit faster. And I believe if we uh, use hardware acceleration, it's going to make it go super fast because we're in a virtual machine. And I wonder if we can change. Oh, yeah, actually we can. Can we go? Yeah, we can go 1920 by 1440. So uh, we'll we'll try that. Uh, let's just see what happens here. Okay, so now I can, I can kind of see, uh, as you can see, the, the virtual machine is kind of getting, yeah, if I plus, if I press uh, the control key to kind of get my mouse out, it kind of stops the screensaver, so I kind of want to, let me try, I'm, tr I'm trying to see here, let me, uh, oh here, ignore mouse movements, let's just do that, and then we'll, um, let's, let's make it a little bit smaller, just do 1600 by 1200, and then preview. All right, here we go. So this is a pretty interesting thing here, and, and now it's changing every 15 seconds instead of every minute. So uh, we're going to see uh, a lot more things on uh, the screen. So and now mouse movements aren't going to work. Oh, so I have to actually press a key on the keyboard. So okay, so that's good. Uh, and we can also uh, I wonder what happens if we uh, use hardware uh, acceleration. It's probably going to make it go real really fast. Let's just see here. Hmm. Maybe not. It just that actually look like that actually look, looks kind of cool here. It likes like goes through here. I, I guess uh, hardware acceleration doesn't use uh, the host computer like I thought it would. But all right. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, that is basically uh, the Organic Art 3D screen saver. Let's just do one more thing. Make a change every one second, and we'll see how this how fast it goes. I guess it doesn't go as, as fast as I thought it would. Alright, alright, here we go. Uh, basically, all it does is just, like, just render random objects on the screen. Um, and it's, uh, these are actually uh, individual 3D unique shapes, which is uh, pretty cool on a Windows 98 computer. So, yeah, that's basically the Organic Art 3D screensaver. We'll just uh, get out of that. And now we're going to be taking a look at the Start Menu Cleanup Utility, which was actually added to the existing Maintenance Wizard that was in Windows 98. So 
So we can go here uh, to the uh, you know programs menu, Microsoft Plus 98, and it's under the maintenance wizard here. And uh, the maintenance wizard, I believe, um, I, I actually don't know how we do this here uh, to enable uh, the start menu cleanup utility. I think it might just be like an option in here, but uh, uh, let's choose custom here. And we can also uh, select a maintenance schedule so that we can, you know, do it uh, at a certain time of day. I'll, I'll just do it at night, midnight uh, to 3 a.m. And okay, here we go. So this is uh, clean up your start menu. We can say yes, clean up my start menu at at 1 a.m. on the second day of January, March, May, July, September, and November, starting 8, 9, 14. Uh, so this is uh, th that new option that it added to the maintenance wizard, and we'll also uh, select yes, scan for viruses regularly. So we'll just do that, and we can also uh, yes defragment my disk regularly. So we'll, we'll do that. We also have uh, scan my hard disk for errors regularly. So this is all, and and we also have uh, unnecessary files as well. This is basically kind of like uh, it sort of reminds me of uh, the modern version of uh, disk cleanup which I'm not sure if uh, Windows 98 had but this is kinda uh, reminding me of it because it has uh, like you know very similar options like that and yeah okay so here's all of, of just basically what it's going to do it's going uh, to you know do all these things at these uh, certain different times and the one that it would add is clean up your start menu which was new for Microsoft Plus. So we'll just uh, click on finish and it's going to ask us about you may be able to convert one or more of your drives. Uh, we'll just click on remind me. All right. So yeah, that's basically the start menu cleanup utility. And now we will uh, move on to the non-critical file cleaner, which was added. Uh, and this is actually uh, a, a feature developed by Cyber Media Incorporated, which at the time was the leader in automatic te technical support for PCs so if we go here programs this is under the disk cleanup yeah so uh, so Windows 98 did have uh, disk cleanup as well like I thought and uh, we're going to uh, select drive C and this is basically uh, a modern version it just looks uh, very similar to the modern version but uh, it basically allows you to delete uh, non-critical system files uh, such as things uh, from the recycle bin and uh, downloaded program files, temporary files, uninstall information uh, and oh no actually it's just it's just this option right here uh, non-critical files um, which here it is uh, Here's like uh, the cyber media watermark, and it just basically says non critical files are commonly found on your system but are seldom used. Many of these files can be safely deleted. Unlike other cleaners, this cleaner is not automatic but will instead bring up an explorer like interface allowing you to remove the non critical files. So let's just get rid of all of these other options and just we'll just you know focus on this and we'll click on OK and we'll say yes. And it's going to scan for those non-critical files. And here we go. This is uh, the CyberMedia non-critical file cleaner. And it can basically uh, allow us to choose what we want it uh, to delete and, and what we want it uh, to keep on the system. So let's say that uh, we don't... It's, it's actually finding a lot here. Let's say that... Let's see what else we... So here's uh, like uh, some uh, basic Java packages. Here uh, we'll go uh, under setup files. Here's uh, like a, f a few temporary files. We'll just uh, select these, and uh, let's just do those. So we'll do uh, file and delete. So we'll say yes. We'll say uh, do, do you want to delete this file? We'll say yes to all, and now they're gone. So yeah, that's basically what uh, this program uh, allows you to do is uh, delete non-critical system files uh, from your computer. Alright, so now let's move on to zip file integration uh, with Windows Explorer. Now this is called com uh, compressed folders, which I believe it is uh, still called today uh, in Windows Explorer. 
And I believe we're just gonna have to open up, uh, you know, like the Windows Explorer just to take a look at this. And we can uh, open up the C drive here. Let's say we want to uh, zip up. Uh, let's just make a few new files here. I'll just make a new folder. So we'll uh, make a new folder, a new shortcut. We want to do that. Delete that. Uh, we want a new folder. We'll call it uh, plus 98. We'll go in here and we'll make two uh, text documents. So we'll new and uh, text document. We'll call it test. We'll type in here. Save it. So that's a pretty interesting sound, actually. If you would, uh, you know go to file save, it makes that. It just sounds interesting. I don't know what. All right. Well, yeah. So we'll go to new. Uh, let's go to wave sound. Call this test, and we'll also make uh, a bitmap image. So we have all these files, and we want uh, to basically uh, zip them up into an archive. So uh, we just highlight all of them, and then right click, and then I believe it's send to, and uh, compressed folder right here, and. It's going to make up uh, a compressed folder, and here we go. We have uh, a test uh, folder, test.zip, with all of our files in here. And we also have uh, this test document. Actually, no, this was just uh, one of the documents that just got moved. Um, but yeah, that is basically uh, a com you know compressed folders. I'm sure you all know how this works. It's still in Windows today. If you don't know, you can go and you know try it out right now if you want to. Um, but yeah, that is basically uh, the zipped folders. I'm just going to uh, delete this test folder here. And we'll do that. Alright. Let's take a look at the deluxe CD player, which is also bundled. So we can go to the uh, programs folder. And it's called the deluxe CD player. Now, I'm not really sure how I can uh, demo this because I can't really, you know, play music on here uh, because of, you know, copyright and all that kind of stuff. But basically how this would work is uh, you would insert a an audio CD and it would uh, download like, the album information and like uh, the song title and all that stuff uh, over the internet, which I believe that Windows Media Player does today. So um, that this was basically... Uh, the uh, sort of inspiration for that feature and besides that it's just like a very basic uh, looking audio player that we can play you know sounds with so if you just want to find a sound here I don't know how we how we open a sound I uh, see here's this uh, like internet option and we can go to uh, an internet music site we can go to tunes.com which now just brings us to search.com, so I guess that's that's uh, not not there anymore. Um, but let's just go to. I would like to open uh, a sound file, so maybe go to preferences and I don't know. I don't really know how to how to open anything. Maybe you can only like you, you like, play like a CD in here and not like a, a local file on your computer but yeah uh, that's that's basically uh, the deluxe CD player um, and we also have uh, picture it express which was actually a pretty interesting looking photo editor so we can go in here picture it express here and here it is it's I'm not, I'm not really gonna go into too much detail but yeah it's called picture it express we can you know get picture uh, so this is basically the option where you want to get uh, your picture from, so I'll choose my pictures, and I actually don't have any files on this virtual machine, so we can't really do that. Uh, we'll just cancel. We have interesting sound there. Uh, size and position, we can uh, do touch-up, paint and color effects, edge effects, save, print, and send, or go online. It's just like a very basic uh, sort of, I guess, Photoshop kind of editor. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically Picture It Express. We'll go help about, and uh, yeah, that's basically. It. They actually had a uh, a version of this that was uh, not Express that you would buy, uh, you know, separately. But this was just basically trying to get you to buy it because uh, you could get more features if you um, 
obviously bought uh, the full version instead of using uh, this uh, express version so we'll just click on OK and we'll go here and uh, finally we can take a look at the McAfee virus scan 3.0 which we kind of took a look at earlier so we'll go in here McAfee virus scan and we will uh, open up virus scan and it's just a pretty simple uh, virus scan it does actually uh, include six months of free updates so I wonder if it'll actually still update if we go to uh, I, I don't know how you update this program oh here we go update virus scan so we'll click on up update and all right here we go uh, we have to uh, basically register so let me, let me let me see here if I put in a We paste in a uh, you know ten minute mail address here. Let's see if we'll say uh, value added reseller organization none business title none not let's we'll put none for all this. Yeah, North Carolina, whatever. Number of PCs fourteen. Okay, please make a valid entry in this box. One two three four one two one three four. Okay. Okay. So, do you have access to the internet? We'll say yes. Continue to reach on the nearest download server. Actually, we'll say no. You see what? Please verify the calling information. We'll say one, and we'll say. Uh, so, if you want to actually register that program, it takes a long time, uh, like to go through that whole process. But besides that, it's just a basic, like uh, you know, program that scans for viruses. If I can find it here, yeah, virus scan. Uh, it's also by McAfee. Um, but yeah, we'll just uh, you know scan in. Let's say uh, this uh, IE six point oh full folder. So we want to scan here, and it'll scan it. It says it's not, not going to find anything. But yeah, that's that's basically it. It's not that exciting. It's just you know McAfee virus scan. But yeah, um, that's that. Uh, and it also comes with a few games. Uh, it comes with uh, three games. Uh, in Microsoft Plus 98, we have uh, Microsoft Golf 98 Lite, uh, some game called Lose Your Marbles and Spider Solitaire. And uh, as you know, uh, or as you probably know, uh, Spider Solitaire uh, is bundled with modern versions of Windows today, except for Windows 8. Uh, but we can go to here. Uh, let's go into programs again. Microsoft Plus 98, we have the games folder. And we'll just uh, check out Golf 1998 Lite, and well, it's made by the Friendly Software Corporation. And for some reason, we're not going to get that like best uh, of a resolution here. I wonder if we can change uh, the game can we go game preferences. Um, maybe not. I don't. I don't know, whatever, we'll just, uh, I'll click on quick start here, and, alright, and the game has performed an illegal operation and will be shut down, so, maybe we're not going to be able to take a look at that, let's just, let me just try to open it up again, we'll try it one more time, and if it doesn't work, and we'll just, you know, move on to something else, we'll do, uh, let's just do, uh, the, uh, new round, and we'll click on, the preserve nine, I guess is all you can do. Front nine, uh, when we'll make it sky, mostly sunny, we'll make it mostly cloudy. Why not? Next. And sure. Alright, so I guess we're not going to be taking a look at Microsoft Golf 98 because it keeps crashing. So let's just uh, swiftly move on to the next game, which is Lose Your Marbles. Let's hope this one doesn't crash. Which we have that weird audio here. Okay. 
Okay, lose your marble. So we'll click on play. So we'll, we'll, we'll choose uh, skill one. Actually, I guess skill three because my mouse kind of freaked out there. And, okay, I have no clue how to play this game. We'll just start. Um, I have no clue what's going on right now. So, I'm just gonna. I, I guess you're like supposed to go like, on the line. I'm not even sure if you guys can hear me because apparently. Can I change the music? Yeah, I don't even know what's going on. Options can we like turn the music off? Yeah, yeah, the mouse controls are like really, really annoying. By the way, we'll turn that all the way down. All right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do you, do you see this? Do you see how ridiculous this is? Okay. We'll do. Come on, play. Okay, there we go. All right. Now I want. No, I don't want. Okay. I guess we're doing three again. Yeah, I think what you're supposed to do is like make it so you're in a line or something. I'm not, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do, honestly. I'm just moving these things around. Okay, well, I did some there. Maybe it's like you have to get three in a row and move this up. Okay, so it's four in a row then. I move this down. Oh, I can't move it down. Okay, maybe it's not a foreigner, because then those don't move. So, I don't, I don't know what it is. Like. It's all, I guess it's all just random. Alright. Alright, we'll just, we'll just quit that. If I can move the mouse to exit, and then we'll try to move it to quit. I can move the mouse. This is so hard. Why is this? Why is this? This is ridiculous. This is okay. So we're out of that. So this is the light version again. And whenever you quit, they want you to buy it. So they say well, it's one of the most addicting or insanely addictive games I've played in years from this person from Electronic Gaming Monthly. If you. It says look for the full version featuring two two player mode including land party party. Uh, you get special bonus marbles and multiple difficulty levels and you, and you can call this number or I guess you would find it at your uh, like a uh, local software retailer and yeah that's that's basically it. or actually you can uh, just kind of check here so you don't want to see this again but all right, so that, that that's basically that uh, two kind of uh, like you know light games um, that they are basically just just like kind of basic versions um, that are I guess kind of like uh, an advertisement to buy uh, the uh, like the real version. Uh, and sorry, we can take a look at Microsoft Golf because this it, apparently uh, it just. It just decided not to work for some reason, but let's just take a look at uh, Spider Solitaire now. So we'll go to games, we'll go to Spider Solitaire. I'm sure you all know. All right, so this is uh, Spider Solitaire. I'm sure it looks, uh, you know, pretty familiar to those of you who have, you know, played it before. And this is the first version of of, uh, of Windows that you could play it on. Uh, but it did not come bundled uh, by default. That was actually in uh, Windows ME, uh, and it was Windows ME that was uh, the, the first version of Windows to include Spider Solitaire as well as compressed folders um, by default. So yeah, so that's basically that. We can go to help and about. This is this looks like a, a pretty early version. I mean, yeah, it's just called Spider, 1998 by Microsoft Corporation. We can deal. Let's deal a bunch of random cards. Now we're out of deals. Uh, well, this new game. I've actually played this game before. It's been a while since I've played it though, so I'm probably gonna forget how to play. But basically, what you do is you—it's uh, it's kind of like Solitaire, and it's uh, kind of like that other game that comes with Windows. I'm not really sure what it's called. It's that like other card game. I'm sure you've all played this game before if you've owned uh, a copy of Windows. 
uh, except for Windows 8 because Windows 8 do doesn't have this uh, by default at least but yeah uh, that is the Microsoft Spider Solitaire program and let's see what else we have to cover here I think that's about it uh, yeah that's that's about it for Microsoft Plus for Windows 98 uh, I know this was a, a pretty long video but if you watched uh, the entire thing uh, I really do appreciate that um, and if you want to see uh, more versions of this program featured uh, here on this channel then be sure uh, to like and subscribe and uh, also leave uh, any you know like uh, suggestions that you guys have down below and as always guys uh, just thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video